All right, one take because uh, Dan has to go home. So oh, like 10 minutes. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to take your spot. Well, if you got to go, just leave. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. 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 And no one's gonna then it'll be over. like a quick edit about like, wow, Dan got kind of yeah. dark. How y'all doing? No, how you? How we doing? I'm good. Yeah. I, I I like the new the new the, the new, new layout here. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. before yeah. it was just like wall, ugly wall, a very brown. ugly wall. Yeah. Uh, well, not just, you know. I like brown. Like off white. Yeah. It, it was, was no. It was a dark brown. Yeah. It was a dark. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, that's closer me. to white. Yeah, here's a picture right here. Daniel put a big V because our company's actually Velve Lab. And yeah. we do sneaker chefs yeah. as well. So now before we start, since I already mentioned our company, we did start a YouTube channel for our company, a digital agency that we started about a year ago. And uh, it's been crazy adventure for sure, crazy journey. Yep. Yes, yeah, so for those of you guys always asking, what do we do on the meantime when we're not messing with sneakers, <laughs> right? This is what we started, this is what we do, this is what we live, this is what we breathe. Yep. Go ahead and check us out. So we have the link down in the description below and we just uploaded our first video today. Well, not gonna be the same day you guys are watching this. Definitely check it out if you guys are interested because we're gonna start posting of what we do when it doesn't come to sneakers. Well, the other businesses we run, you know, when sneakers are basically not doing so well. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely subscribe to that channel as well. Right. And I'm gonna be on there a lot more. <laughs> Coming soon. Coming very soon. <laughs> For those that don't know, this is Noah. I'm sure they, you guys they know me. My man. Ethiopian I, I, boyfriend. Yeah, yeah Ethiopian. Yeah, I'm, I'm not as. Ethiopian. So if you guys are wondering if he was single, unfortunately he's not. Daniel has him cuffed up already. Yeah. yeah. Safe. Well, what We're are you working. doing? Yeah, yeah, what? Well, well, let me get... It's gonna be a weird week this week because we have some shoes that are releasing we, Friday, think... Saturday. Yeah, Friday and Saturday, but I think it's been a while since these models have finally gotten some attention. And not just that, it's all this is all happening in a time span within two days. You have all you yeah. have like four crazy sneakers releasing so, within so two days. February is packed. Yeah, it is for the first week. So Strange Love and the Nike collab with the SB Dunk Lows. These are dropping February eighth, and retail price is a hundred bucks. Resale will be three hundred. And what's funny was they were supposed to release a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. but uh, I believe Nike told them to stop it due to the prevention of bots. So they, they literally pushed the release date to the worldwide release date. There actually is two drops happening. One on February 7th, mm -hmm. on the 7th, and then one on the 8th. Which is the Friday. So Friday would be strangelove.com, obviously. Well, it says, it says select skate shops. So <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to be in-store on, on February 7th. Mm -hmm. And then sneakers only on February 8th. You know what I'm saying? No, like, what so it is. select retailers will be on the 7th, and then online releases will be on the 8th. Right. How much was the shoe? 110. I mean, it's like 100. For sure. Put it in the computer. I'm gonna get a pair, yeah. Like right now? Yeah, I just gave Daniel a hundred. Oh, what size are you? Ten and a half. I'll try to get you that. For sure. Thank you, man. Yeah. Now, before we leave off with this shoe, uh, there is a special box edition here dropping on the Strange Love Skateboards website. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of what it looks like. And resale for this one is a lot more than what the tr traditional box sneakers yeah. are. So the next shoe that's releasing as well on Saturday is the Air Jordan 1 85 Varsity. Yep. And um, what's cool about this shoe, it literally looks like the first Air Jordan shoe that Michael, uh, I don't say Michael Jackson, but <laughs> that Michael Jordan released. And what's cool about the colors is that it has like an inverted bread colorway as well. Now these are extremely limited and that's why the, the, the amount of resale is going to be super high. There's rumored to be actually 23 or 23,000 pairs worldwide. Yeah. 23,000 pairs, and there's a reason for 23, obviously. Yeah, course, because so. two plus three equals five. That wasn't the reason. The Jordan 1 has a different type of cut to the Yeah, this is the 85 heel. cut of the shoe, the original mm -hmm. cut. Now, what excites me about this is that this colorway is whatever, uh -huh. but I think Jordan knows that we know, that everyone knows, we want those, you know, OG colorways. So you're saying it could be an actual test. To see right. how if well this the market... performs well, then we're gonna get breads. Well, obviously, oils. obviously it's yeah. gonna perform well. And I think because they're gonna set a two hundred dollar or two hundred dollar price tag on these Air Jordan ones, that they're right. gonna think it's fine with everybody else now and other releases to release Air Jordan ones at two hundred dollars. If that makes sense. Well, if I can well, get this shoe, yeah, I mean, you're gonna... with the eighty five cut, hopefully better leather. Then, then, then I'm fine with paying 200, 200 honestly. Yeah. yeah. So so it could be a test, like Noah's mentioned, and Daniel is right that they raise the price for a reason. And mm -hmm. if people do get more custom to liking this type of style now, with you know being retrofied from a, the 80s, yeah, I think Nike will definitely be looking out to to putting out more OG colorways. I, this I think that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly. 2020. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I, I'm not. I see the same thing now that you said that. So yeah, I, I wouldn't see why they wouldn't do that. Yeah. Good job. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you want a treat? <laughs> Just kidding. So resale price, I think, will be leveling out around the seven hundred to eight hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's like going all the way up to nine hundred bucks on some sizes. But obviously, the best sizes for Jordan ones 
are ranging from seven and a half all the way to size 10. I mean, in this case, it's pretty much anything that ranges in a popular men's size. So mm -hmm. anything from a size seven and a half to maybe all the way to like a 12. $900, that's a Tesla stock now. That's a, that is true. That's a share. That's one share of Tesla. <coughs> By the way, if you guys if you, yeah, if you guys were holding the last couple yeah. of weeks, yeah, you, you it's guys. been a roller coaster. Yeah. Well, I mean, you did, but I, 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 you know, I pulled out sadly uh, before at, everything started going crazy. No, I pulled out at six thirty or like 630. no, no, six eighty. Sorry. Yeah. So you would have made an extra three hundred bucks per stock that you had. I would have made another grand. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like this close to suicide. So let's not talk about it. <laughs> That's how Wall Street looks like every day. Yeah, <laughs> like, it just, yeah. If you're like, uh, if you're like a trader and yeah. like all your stuff crashes, you're like, man, let me man. see this window. How far <laughs> this is? <laughs> what floor are we on? Yeah, fifty eight. Fifty eight. Perfect. <laughs> just jump out, man. That's terrible. All right. Well, and you know, not that we're jumping. I'm not even, about, yeah, not yeah. that we're jumping. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, The fact that Dan just made it. You know, I mean, I'm like cool that. with this. It's a thing that I learned. You know, I'm still young, so there's always gonna be more opportunities throughout the, you know, my lifetime. Or maybe this was the last time I could make it. It probably money. was. Yeah. I probably. mean, I don't think you'll yeah. never see another yeah. Tesla. This company quickly, like no. That. No. Yeah. yeah. There also are some 700s dropping, and these are called the MNVN. I'm just. Can I say this on the record? <laughs> I'm really tired of this shoe. Of the Yeezys? Yeezys or no, just this this model, the 700. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've seen the 700 in black. So many times. So many times. No, they did release like 50 shades of black. Seriously, yeah. So I don't know if like what Adidas is doing or Kanye doesn't care anymore, but eh, <laughs> eh, <laughs> mate, eh. How much is the shoe? The retail is 220. Oh, no thank you. I will be yeah. in line for the Air Jordan ones. Though, with retail being 220, resale is actually not that bad. It's looking around like 440 to like 450 ish. Now, the reason why I think that's happening though is just because it has the reflective material on it and it's mm -hmm. also because it's it's a different type of design to it. And <laughs> there's other 700s coming out that have different types of looks to it, like mm -hmm. the ones the orange accents to yeah. it, you know, things like that. So yeah. this one is definitely unique and stands out, even though we're not all gonna be fans of it, but at least people can have an opportunity to make some money off of this. Yeah, yeah so resale is around the, the 300 to $400 range. So you're gonna make around like 60 to maybe $120 profit on the day of the release. Yep. So not too bad for Yeezy. You know, it's, it's been a while. It's been it's a while. Hype. The Nike Dunk Low Plum is actually a retro of. Uh, That's what I was about to yeah. say. So these actually dropped in. Yeah, it was ugly. Yeah, it was yeah, ugly because I think these came out before Nike SB had really started. Mm -hmm. So there's like that first. So this was like the first like uh, phase phase of release. Pretty much like before like that first initial line of like SB releases. Mm -hmm. This was kind of like before that. I guess in in theme of bringing back some Jordan ones, they want to try it out with some Dunks. Yeah, yeah. And it's obviously so, gonna resell. Listen, Nike got Instagram just like us. Travis, <laughs> you kind of ruined the sneaker game for SBs. You're, you're driving up the resale price. It's crazy. Yeah, with SB Dunks, it's very common with with actually you know the past releases. It's very right. common to see a hundred dollars profit. It. You're walking away with an extra hundred dollars after shipping and all that. Yeah, plus so, SBs are so cheap, like they're only like a hundred bucks. Which I love, because that is literally almost unheard of now for yeah, a sneaker. Yeah, for a shoe that's that's well like hyped, good in, in the way, doing good in the market. Yeah. Like it's it's a pretty good price, a well, really good price. Yeah, you know, better than paying two hundred bucks. So pricing is ranging around the two hundred to maybe two hundred two hundred fifty dollar range. Now, honestly, I think at the day release, these would probably only flip for like 160 to yeah. maybe like 240. Yeah, you're, you're hitting uh, you're hitting a support level like at 140 for like the bad sizes, obviously. Yeah, but, but good sizes, I can see like 240 yeah. going up. I, I can see like two. Yeah. So all these four sneakers are great sneakers to go for. I would honestly recommend to go with any of these shoes that you guys run into. Now, obviously, the Jordan ones are a must. You know, must oh, have, dude, must want, because I, you're I gonna to want to hold those for I need, a while. Yeah, I need those, all stock. Hold those for yeah. sure. Yeah. You know what the strange laws remind me of? Mm. Kind of like, like you know, <laughs> remember you used to make like Nest Quick Milk? Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm like. Yeah, every time I see that shoe, I get hungry. <laughs> I, I, I just, I just watch. Yeah. You know what I used to do? I was a crack addict. <laughs> I used to just drink the, the dust, no milk. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. I just. Uh, you took it in like a uh, pre-workout. Pre-workout. Yes. Like pre I used to take the Nest Quick Milk like like pre-workout. Because it came with the scoop. Yeah. <laughs> it came with yeah. the scoop. <laughs> I remember. Bro. Yeah. Man, because it's like, it's basically sugar and whatever they add in yeah, it, yeah. and it tastes so good. You get That's something so else. Bad. Man, I'm about to buy some right now. I'm 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 catching. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I'll catch a flashback. <laughs> Yagasa, Yagasa. And if you're in our Discord, there is a bunch of other websites that are doing raffles for all these sneakers. And which have already been out there on our Discord channel. We have a list that's being just spit out. Scroll down. You know, just spitting out a bunch of just yep. sites of raffles going on. Instagram, online, in-store, whatever. It, it's the whole package, yeah, thing. The whole, the thing. whole thing. So, plus we're updating our Discord and we're going to be adding some faster monitors and also better tools for people to be able to have better success on there. Definitely. But yeah, just check out our Discord, sneakershifts.com. Just check us out there. And um, yeah, guys. Oh, tell them to follow Velv Lab too. Yeah, oh, yeah. also Velv. I mean, we had the Velv link, like we mentioned in the beginning of the video. Yes. It's gonna be in the description. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and smash that like button. Check out our channel, check out all the link in the description, and see you guys on Discord. See you guys later. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.